Hey everybody, we're gonna take a look at how to take this and turn it into this. No hell, Now, if you haven't seen the video yet, be sure to click the link in the description and go check it out. I could have just done nothing but just play the song and just switch keys with no setup. But I wanted to connect it even more so that each time we hit a key change, it, it feels more natural and it feels more like, oh, I, I felt like this was coming. And there's a very simple way to do that. And it's literally just throwing a five chord in front of the new key. Now here's what I mean. We've talked about this whole celebrity singing thing and how funny it was and all that stuff. And that's not really what this video is about. This video is just more using that as a way to say, how do we take something that is this questionable and turn it into something that we might actually be able to listen to. Individually, there were some clips of people who sang quite well. Imagine all the people. And there were some clips of, of people who didn't. But regardless, when we squashed it all together, it made no, no sense whatsoever. So my job as, in this case, I suppose the accompanist, I had to figure out how to make it sound a little less like mass chaos. In the first four clips, we start in the key of C and we very simply just go up, 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 all the way in whole steps to F sharp. So we start here, then we go to D, then to E, and then to F sharp. For me as the accompanist trying to uh, keep up with, with the singers and make it sound reasonable, I have to use some device to allow us to move through those keys and have it sound good. All right, so what is this five chord deal? Really quick for anybody who doesn't know, I'm gonna just kind of cover the super, super basics of what this is. Take any major scale, right? So C major and just give every single one of those notes a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that is one repeated. The chords just follow the numbers. So if I say five chord, that just means the chord that's built from the fifth note of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, right? So when we say we're gonna use the five chord of the new key, here's what we mean. We started in C. We're going to D. So the five of that new key, one, two, three, four, five. So it's A and we're just gonna use an A chord. That motion of moving from the five chord to the one chord, is like the most common sound in Western music. It's a very compelling motion that leads us from that five chord to our home base of the one chord. Basically, without getting super in-depth and complicated about it, the five chord is all you need to set up just about any key change. And it doesn't matter how strange of a movement it is from one key to the next, if you put a five chord in front of the new key, it's gonna work better than if you just jump straight there with no setup. So let's just take a couple examples of doing this. So I'm gonna start this song in C, and I'm gonna just throw it into a couple different keys. Let's, uh, as a first one, why don't we do, why don't we do E? So we're gonna go from C, and then we're gonna play the next line in E which is a major third that's kind of a strange jump. And I'm not gonna do anything to set it up and you're gonna be able to see how strange it sounds. It's just odd to jump from one place to the next with no context. So. Throwing that five chord in front of the new key can help establish that context, or at least prepare our ears before we land in that new spot. Check it out. So even though it's still an odd thing to move from C to E, when we throw that five chord of E, in which case it's one, two, three, four, five, B. So when we put the B chord 
in front of the E chord, it prepares our ears to be able to make more sense of it once we go into this new unusual key from where we just were. No need for greed and hunger. So this single device can clear up so much of the weirdness that comes from jumping around from key to key to key to key as our video in question did, but just using the five chord to prepare our ears for each key change can really, really help make it sound a lot more natural. And that's what the feedback from a lot of you on YouTube and on Instagram was. A lot of people were like, how does this sound like it works? How does this sound a little bit less like I wanna punch myself in the face? Really just like, what makes this sound more natural? And the answer is, well, we gotta give your ear some context so that when we drop into this new unexpected place, it's not as as violent. <laughs> it isn't hard to do. It doesn't, it's not as offensive for us to listen to. It's just a little bit more sensible. And we can do that by giving our ear a little bit of context before we get there. So throughout this entire song, we're jumping around from key to key to key to key. And a lot of what I did was literally just put a five chord in front of the new key. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Now, it didn't always work exactly that way. There were a few times when I had to use some other device, or honestly, there, there were a few times when I just gave, gave up. up. And so we wound up with, with what the final product was. But using that five chord in front of the new key, that was single-handedly the biggest device that I utilized in order to make it sound a little smoother and make it sound a little more natural. Now, in the case that any of you would like to look at the music for this, I have no idea why anybody would wanna do that, but just to see uh, what chords I actually used, uh, I'm gonna put like, it's not the fully written out music, but I put together a lead sheet with just the chords. So you can kind of see how I approached uh, the chord structure for moving around all these different keys. So I wrote the melody in there and then I put all the chords that I used along with it. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Imagine